हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज एम जी खतीस हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडेज टॉपिक इज फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सिस दैट इज द चैप्टर नंबर नाइन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ एस एस सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द फॉरेस्ट एंड द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सिस सो लेट्स बिगेन द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट इज the existing progress and the development of a man dependent on resources that we all know resources are so important for us and if we don't have resources we cannot progress and we do not have any kind of development and that's why the if the human should be existence the resources must be there and one kind of resources is forest forests are the very important resources for human beings why it is important because we get so many thing from the forest so what is the exactly meaning of the forest exactly meaning of the forest is accumulation of a trees scrubs or heap of grass so in the forest there would be trees and scrubs and heap of grass are there next term is virgin vegetation so what is the exactly virgin vegetation as far as this uh, farm is forest is concerned we all know that uh, the vegetation grow itself there is no person go there and so the bee seeds in there in the forest so here the definition is the same in natural vegetation only that vegetation is included which can be raised naturally without help of man and this type of vegetations virgin vegetations are available in the himalayas sundarban and the remote areas of the thar desert we can classify it forest according to the different criteria usually we have a three type of forest one is administration second is ownership and third one is a management let's have a look on these three types of forest first administration forest so administration forest includes reserve forest protected forest and the unclassified forest we all know that these are forest in our india and in you know india there are so many places of, of forest that are in the under the control of the government so this type of forest called a reserve forest in the in this type of forest control on lumbering means uh, we cannot use that forest for the, our commercial use we cannot collection we cannot collect woods and we cannot pasturing means we cannot give a uh, live our animals domestic animal in the that is a forest second is protected protected forest look after by the administration there is some local party local people who are taking care of this forest local people are permitted to enter in the forest and can collect food so in this kind of forest there has some permissions so the local people around that area not out outside people but the people living around this protected area that can enter in that forest and can collect the food and can graze their animal also but condition is that they cannot harm any trees third thing is unclassified forest so in this unclassified forest there is no restriction there's no control so these are the simple three different kind of administrative forest we have learned second thing we have a state forest communal forest and a private forest so this state forest is managed by or controlled by the central government or the state government and most of these forests are of the country fall in this category so in our india lots of tree uh, lots of forests are there and most of out of them are controlled by our state government or the central government second is a communal forest communal forest means it's a communal forest controlled by the some local government local self government so local self government means what kind of government uh, gram panchayat municipalities corporation district panchayat and this type of local government institute on this communal forest and third is private forest private forest is owned by some individual or some local person or some human being uh, or we can say some individual 
दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉरेस्ट फाउंड इन ओडिशा मेघालय पंजाब हिमाचल प्रदेश सो दिस फॉरेस्ट इज मोस्टली कंट्रोल बाय द इंडिविजुअल इट्स कंडीशन इज अफेजेड कंडीशन और इन सम आर इन टोटली बैरन दिस टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट कैन do not have that much vegetation as the communal forest has and as the state forest has next thing is deforestation so what is the deforestation deforestation means destruction of forest means uh, if you are cutting out the trees from the forest it means that deforestation are there so it's not a problem of this only gujarat or india or some local place but it's a problem of the whole world global problem because of the progress of man as the we are constructing buildings in in place of the forest and this thing <coughs> this thing doing deforestation trees are destroyed naturally but negligible compared to the inflicted by the human interference so trees are destroyed naturally these are na destroyed naturally but it affects less than the human interference if human inter if human are cutting down the trees it affects lots of is in compared to is destroyed naturally so what is the impact of the deforestation impact of the deforestation is quantity of a co2 means carbon dioxide is increase because there are less trees so they cannot consume all the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere second greenhouse impact effect more intense third problem of a farm fertility increase because of, because of the soil erosion so as the soil erosion increase we all know the fertility of the land will be decrease many living organisms lost their natural homes or natural abodes so many living organism like a wild animal or the some birds or some reptile they are losing they are losing their natural homes and that's why sometimes what happened they are looking for the food and water in the city they come out from the forest and looking in the city areas and that's why we are looking we are found that many places there are the found of a um, leopards or lion roaming in the city areas or nearby the forest area so it is important for us to stop deforestation if we cannot stop this deforestations there may be their impact is so hazardous <coughs> so nowadays it is must it must be have to stop this deforestation so what we do to stop the forest uh, what we do to, to stop deforestation or we can uh, conserve our forest find the opinion option of a wood reduce the use of a wood new tree must be grown in the place of a cut trees ban for cutting trees which are not grown fully so in this point we are discussing about the option we should find the option of a wood wood we must have to find what is the options of the wood and we should have to we must have to reduce the use of wood we have to grow more and more trees because we are already about to so many about 10 to 15% of trees of the world and it it is affecting our atmosphere second the industries which receive raw material from trees forest must do afforestation for the future so any industries any industries if they have a they are getting raw material from the forest they must have to do afforestations they must have to do afforestation <coughs> public awareness should be conducted we should aware the public importance of a forest importance of a forest and their conservation strategies include in school syllabus so as the right now we are learning the same thing we should have to conserve our forest and we should have to take care of our forest we need to grow more and more trees around us and we have to create a forest 
we have to create a forest we can use a miyawaki forest system to grow a forest <coughs> for fodder and a firewood necessary steps should be taken in place of firewood solar natural gas should be used so we have a substitute like a solar or natural gas instead of using a firewood forest resources should be used very carefully to grow trees faster remove the infected trees and we must have to take care of this forest resources and we have to remove dead trees which are already infected by some bacteria or some kind of disease we have to stop religious activity which are held in the forest so it is also necessary stop littering in the forest do not throw any kind of stuff in the forest and do not throw one use one one use plastic in the forest that can harm the forest for animal grazing pasturing area must be noticed or demar demarcated and we have to decide the area for the animal grazing so these are the step for the remedies of a forest conservation so we should have to take care of this points and we must have to keep it in our mind this if we take care of these points and we if we go through with this point we can change our atmosphere <coughs> we can change our atmosphere and it is nowadays very necessary to afforestation because nowadays what we are doing we are building a, we are doing constructions of buildings and buildings and building lots of buildings but we are not taking care of the forest we are cutting down the forest and in place of the forest we are just constructs our new building so these are the today's topic we will be back soon with the new content thank you very much sign out mg kadir sir bye bye